I'm sick and sound like crap, but I'm gonna make this video anyways. Let's get started. What's up you guys? As you can probably tell from my voice, uh, I am really not up to uh, good health at the moment. Uh, I actually am a little bit sick, but that's okay. Uh, when I got this in the mail uh, just uh, yesterday, uh, this made me feel a lot better. This, if you can't already tell, is a Nexus 6. And this came really, really early, a lot earlier than I had expected. So uh, that was a nice surprise. Uh, now, if you aren't already aware, uh, the Nexus 6 is um, a Motorola phone that is running stock Android, which is a big plus for me. And it's actually running uh, the latest version of Android, which is uh, Lollipop. Now, uh, in this video, it's going to be relatively quick. Uh, I just want to show you what came in the box. Uh, and then talk a little bit about why I decided to go with this phone over uh, some of the other competitors. I've already cut the uh, sticker here on the side so we can get inside the box and let's shake that a little bit and it is coming out there. Now the box itself is actually pretty heavy weight and you've got the nice six embossed on the front. Uh, the top of the box is um, you know, got the nice outline for the phone, but that's not really what we care about. And here is the Nexus. Now I have to admit that I cheated a little bit and did look at this already, uh, but I wanted to show you what was in the box anyways. Um, I haven't activated it, so it's kind of like a new unboxing, right? Um, so here's the phone. I'm going to put this aside for just a second. And let me show you what else you get. So you get some documentation, uh, like basically how do you turn it on? How do you charge it? Um, some warranty info, and then the SIM removal tool. Uh, you also get USB cable, and you get the um, charger. Now this is like a, I think what they're calling a turbo charger. Uh, so this has got a little bit more amperage to uh, charge the phone a little bit quicker. And we can put that aside so we can start talking about this. I picked up the Midnight Blue version, uh, 64 gig. Now, uh, I actually was thinking about getting the white version, but um, opted for this one because honestly, this was the only one that was available. I actually bought this through Motorola directly. Uh, it wasn't available on Google Play, and uh, Motorola was the only place I could find it, which is fine. Um, it is, uh, like I said, the Midnight Blue. The phone is very large, but for me, it's just perfect. The uh, feel on the hand is actually a lot lighter uh, than I would expect it to be. Uh, we can do a really quick uh, once over around the phone. So we've got the really cool Nexus logo with either a metallic, I don't know if that's real metal or like a metallic looking uh, plastic or something. Uh, the little dimple here with the Motorola logo, 13 megapixel camera with uh, dual LED flash and then this like ring diffuser here. The camera uh, is uh, optical image uh, stabilization enabled I guess. Um, on the left hand side of the phone it's uh, pretty empty, no buttons. On the right hand side you have a volume rocker and the power button which is textured which is very nice. On the bottom your uh, USB plug for charging and up on the top the uh, SIM uh, location for your SIM card and the uh, headphone jack. Let's take a look at the front really quickly. There's a couple or a pair of uh, front facing speakers and a, uh, I think it's a 2 megapixel camera. I'll leave the specs over here. Um, and the uh, Snapdragon 805 processor, 3 gigs of RAM, Lollipop for your OS like I mentioned before. Uh, I can't remember the GPU, again that'll be over here somewhere, uh, but overall just for me personally the phone is uh, really uh, probably the perfect size for me. Uh, the back uh, of this Midnight Blue version is very smooth, there's no real texture to it uh, outside of the dimple here of course, but it feels fine. Um, I will be putting a case on this, I've got a couple in order uh, and uh, those are going to be coming in a couple of days and uh, I'll definitely make a video about those so you can check those out as well. Let's talk a little bit about why I went with the Nexus over some of the other phones that are out there. Now, after having the Note 2 for a little while, I, I knew I wanted to stick with a larger form factor, uh, and that really limited me down to just a handful of phones. And being on Verizon, that kind of just left me with the, uh, the Note 4 or the, uh, the Nexus. 
Both are really great phones, but uh, I ultimately what I wanted to do was stick with a stock Android experience. I'm not a huge fan of TouchWiz. I'm not really a huge fan of any overlay on top of Android. And that kind of was the um, driving factor. Now, I know that I'm losing a few things by going with the Nexus. I don't have removable battery. I don't have removable storage. Um, you know, I don't have the, you know, the S Pen. Um, and, you know, there's no heart rate monitor or any of those other extras. I don't really care. Um, it's not something that uh, was really a factor. Um, not really stuff that I used a ton anyways on my Note. Um, I didn't really use that pen a ton. I mean, if ever. And uh, removable storage was um, kind of up there. This is 64 gigs. I took a look at what I uh, had in all of my media and everything that I was carrying around in my phone. And I was less than 32 gig. I maybe it was at 20 gig, 25 gig, if that much. Um, so I have more than enough storage on here. I sync with um, Google Drive and I sync my pictures up to Google as well. I'm not really looking for a ton of space. 64 gigs is plenty for me. That's going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you so much for checking it out. Uh, what's going to happen with my Note 2, you might ask? Well, I'm going to wipe it clean, uh, clean it up, and then I will put it up for sale. Uh, I'm sure that any of that money that I get from that phone is going to go right back into this channel for some future project that I haven't thought of yet. But uh, definitely stay tuned for uh, new videos. Um, we'll see what we can do with that money. Um, anyways, check out the description below. Follow me everywhere that I am. And uh, like, share, favorite, subscribe. Do all of that because that helps me out a ton. And uh, that's going to do it, you guys. I'm going to go get some, uh, some hot tea or hot coffee, make my throat feel a little bit better. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.